So at this point, where we've got all of our variations sculpted in, we want to start doing some poly painting on this. You could be painting the, the entire time as you do your modeling as well. It all depends on your workflow. So here I've got Fan A, and I've decided to make him an African American, so I'm going to give him a darker skin tone. And to do skin tone like this, let me go ahead and I'm going to just solo this out. So I'm going to hit solo. And you want to pick a kind of a base skin tone. Okay, so we want to get something to lay down as sort of the base. And then a lot of times I'll go in and use the color spray. And under the color uh, value here, and look at it and get a little bit better idea. There you go. Color intensity variance is what they call it here. Um, you can go the larger the number, the further away from the color it'll go. So if I increase that color variance, you can see I'm getting all different kinds of colors. I want to stay pretty close to this color. And so I'm going to decrease that color variance way down. Okay, so I still get a little bit of variance. I'm also going to add an alpha in here. And then you can go in and start to do your painting. I'm going to go ahead and turn on symmetry. And we can start to drop in some color here. And just depending on the, the brush size and the alpha you use, you'll get different effects. So you know, I want to go over the whole thing, but I want to you know pay closer attention to things like the face. So I can come in and start to just lay down a base coat of paint here. Okay, you don't have to be too careful. You've got the color being modulated and you're using an alpha, so, but you do want to kind of cover everything up. Okay, you don't want any kind of white or whatever color you have on the model currently. You don't want to have that showing through. You want to have everything colored with some sort of a color. Okay, you don't necessarily have to get the hair all the way if you're going to be painting the hair a different color. But you can see how you get a little bit of natural variation versus just painting a, a complete color, even though we are trying to get good coverage on this pass. Okay, so we'll just concentrate here on the, the head. So once we've got that, we can go ahead and get another variation. Let's go ahead and get a kind of a lighter color to kind of go over this. And again, you can play around with the, the alpha that you're using and also the size of the brush that you're using, okay? If you want to get sort of kind of lighter or depending on the skin tone that you're going for, you could come in with a little bit of a darker, but kind of having that layered on top of other layers is going to give you a nice look versus something that's just laid down in one pass. You're going to get a little bit more of a realistic look. So we can come in and and add that skin tone in there, making sure to kind of cover up those white spots that you see. Okay. Obviously, the, the lips and some of the areas around the eyes want to be a little bit different. And so we can come in and lighten those areas up. Maybe we want to add a little bit more red into it. Okay. Around the cheeks and areas where you can see the blood kind of showing through. Add a little bit of life rather than just having, uh, you know, anytime you can get sort of that almost subsurface look where you can see some of that red kind of showing through. Okay, so now we can come in and start to color the lips a little bit. So, kind of desaturate this a little, and you can start to play with some color on the lips to kind of add a little bit of variation to that. Again, you can go with different colors and kind of layer them on top of each other. And then if you ever want to come back, you can go ahead and grab that color up here and just kind of paint over that. Now obviously, the hair is something that we want to do. So I'm going to give him some black hair. So I'm going to go ahead and get a black color. i to dial my brush size down a little bit. I'll come in and just start to paint on the black. Okay, and just watching the hairline, you just want to add color where that black is. So pretty straightforward. If you've done any sort of work in ZBrush, then you've done things like this, just poly painting your model. I'm here at the highest level, so I can get as much detail as I can here in the actual model. Okay, 
So you got the body that you need to texture. We've also got the clothing that we need to texture. So the t-shirt the and the jersey we'll need to texture. Um, and then once we do that, we can go ahead and move on to the other one. So let's look at the jersey here. So if you remember, we actually made sure that we had UVs on this jersey. And so one of the things that we can do is to actually use a texture to help with our poly paint. So to do that, we need to load up the texture. So we'll go to Texture, Import, and we'll go to our project files under the Images folder and let's grab this jersey bitmap. And this is actually has a little bit of detail in it. It's kind of hard to see in here, but it's actually got these little uh, divots in it. And it's just a, a seamless texture, uh, one solid texture. So we've got that loaded in. Let's go now under texture map and we want to add that jersey texture in and there you can see it so that's what the texture looks like okay so now at this point we're getting the orange and we're getting the uh, the little holes there so I want to actually turn this into poly paint so I'm going to go to poly paint and poly paint from texture okay so that turns the texture off and now we can come in and paint over this so if I want to take white and let's go back and get a freehand brush with no alpha. Um, I can come in here and start to paint on this. So let me... I don't know that it's completely symmetrical, so I'm going to actually turn that off. But I'll just show you, you can now paint over that texture, which is no longer texture, but actually poly paint. And so just creating a very simple, seamless texture, we're able to add that because of the UVs, and then we can paint over it using our poly paint. Okay, so that'll give you a nice uh, ability to kind of combine textures that may be easy to create in another application, bring those in, stick them right on your model because you've thought about the UVs ahead of time, and then you can turn those into poly paint and then take your uh, start working with it from there. Okay, now we can also use Spotlight to texture. So let's take a look at the other ones and I've already done some, some painting on these. And so for instance, on this shirt, and let me just show the uh, everything. So I'll turn off Solo. So this guy, I've just made a red head, gave him you know much lighter skin. Again, using the variation that we talked about in painting the skin and then also adding color for the hair and the lips. But let's say I wanna now add a uh, label on his shirt or uh, a team logo okay so what I can do is use uh, spotlight so we need to still load it up as a texture so we'll go ahead and import and let's import this team shirt and then under texture I want to go ahead and turn on spotlight okay and actually want to select the shirt uh, texture and then I want to actually add it to spotlight so make sure they have that selected okay let me turn off light box here all right, so now I can move this around by grabbing in here. I can go ahead and, and click on the little scale here to scale it down, kind of put it into position. I can play with the, the spotlight radius, okay? And then I'm going to hit the Z key, and that's going to allow me to paint through this. Okay, so I'll go ahead and paint this straight onto the T-shirt, okay? Hit Z again if you want to move it around, okay? And now we can go ahead and turn that off once we've got it added, okay? So you can see here, we can turn that off or Shift Z to turn it off. And now it's added as part of the poly paint. We can do the same thing on, if we have areas that we need to add photographs to, so Fan C, you can see I've given, given a much different look. I've added a headband in much the same way that we added the clothing add in some paint but let's say that since we're showing his chest we want to get a little bit more uh, photographic detail in here so we can go to texture and let's load our import our texture rather and I'm just going to import this tor torso now this is not going to be with your project files just to do a search for a torso or take some pictures and uh, to get your own images and I'm going to go ahead and add it to our spotlight again I want to kind of move this down and let me kind of get that a little bit larger. Okay. 
All right. Move it into position. And then I want to actually just modify the hue just a little bit. And then the saturation as well. Take that saturation down. Just kind of matching it up with the tone out here. Okay. I also want to turn down the opacity so that I can see it a little bit better. Okay. And I'm just going to concentrate sort of on one side here. Okay, so let's concentrate on the left side. And I want to kind of match up the image with the model underneath. We can warp it using nudge. And so I can come in here and actually start to move this texture detail around in order to match it up with the, the detail underneath. So bringing that out, I don't want to paint the whole guy here, but um, we can go ahead and modify that. Okay, I can start to bring the center line across. Obviously, his belly buttons is, is in a different spot, so I'm going to avoid that. But now I can start painting. And we get a, kind of a smaller brush. Okay, and now I can start to come in and paint over that in order to add a little bit more realism just in certain areas and let me actually get the symmetry turned on so that it's I'm only painting on one side but it's painting symmetrically so I can come in here and add a just a little bit more realism and try to blend it in with the rest of the texture in some areas it's gonna work great in some areas it may not work as well but that's okay can always blend that back in and I'm not trying to just paint the whole thing I just want to add that little bit of realism in there to make it work okay shift Z to turn off spotlight and you can always go back and select a color in here use your color spray with a an alpha and come back in here and go over the top of it to kind of blend it back in with the paint that you already have there but just adding that little bit of realism will kind of help Okay, and then I want to add again some paint on the front of him and I want it to be raised up so we'll select that blue color and I'm going to choose freehand and I want to choose an alpha kind of like this and I want to be able to raise up the paint just a little bit but very slightly, a very slight amount. Take our focal shift down. Okay, and then I can come in and actually paint that through. Okay. So that gives you kind of a brush stroke kind of look. And if you see that, it's kind of raised up a little bit too. So uh, making it look like that paint's raised up. And so we'll just paint right over the top of that. Give him a big letter. He's part of a group that's going to be spelling out the name of the team.